All right, guys, so I had a couple of requests to do a rig rundown, so uh, not much of a rig, but here it is. Here we go. So for amps, I'm using the Boss Katana 50, which is a 50-watt amp. It's a modeling amp, and a lot of people use it. It's awesome. This Line 6 is more of just a practice amp, and there's a vacuum cleaner. Um, I don't really use that in my rig, but uh, I've got that, and then I've got this Marshall... 25 watt amp that my dad bought me probably over 20 years ago. It's probably 25 years old if I had to guess and It's awesome. It's got a great tone. So what I do is I pretty much play the two in stereo So here's my pedal board not much to it really a lot of wires of course um, There's a power supply right there. You definitely need that if you're ever gonna play live I would say um, you don't want to be running out of battery, so I run everything off of that. Love the Morley Wah pedal. Uh, it, it doesn't have to lock, so I like that about it, so it's always on, ready to go. And then I love the Joyo EQ pedal, especially if you're trying to do like a clean boost or boost your solos, that pedal's awesome. And then the Super Badass Distortion from MXR is amazing. Uh, nothing really too fancy though, you can see a lot of dog hair. That is definitely the key to my tone. That's how I get my warm tone. All right, guys, so here's my guitar arsenal, my guitar arsenal. I don't really play that guy there. I just don't like it too much, but we'll get into that in a second. Anyways, the first guitar, I've showed this one off before. It's a uh, Harley Benton. It's uh, from Germany, and it looks like a PRS. Plays amazing. Love it. Stays in tune well. Uh, great guitar. Probably should get another one at some point. Uh, this one here is special. This one's, uh, my wife bought this for our wedding for me. And it's a JP model. I think it's a JP50. The only thing I've ever done to it is I got rid of the locking tuners. I just have regular tuners. Just seems to work better for me. And this one plays really well tuned down. I really love the tone of it. Great guitar. For Ernie Ball guitar, it's a it's a 90s Eddie Van Halen replica. Not the real thing, but um, I've done a lot of work to this guy. You can see there's an LED in here that um, I've got on here and a boat switch. So I'll turn it on and off. Looks cool at night. Um, it's an Autobot, as you can see right there. And I've done um, these pickups here. That's a, a pickup um, dime bag used back in the day, Bill Wilde. Uh, those are great. I pretty much use them in a lot of my guitars now. And um, this thing just plays great. Love it. It's it's a short neck, so I don't do a lot of soloing with it. It's more of a rhythm guitar, but it has a great tone. This next guitar is a 90s Hetfield L LTD ESP. Um, haven't done anything to this one except for I snapped the neck once. So I had to replace that. But it's got a great tone. Love it. It's great, plays great down tuned as well. So that's a, that's a fun one to play. And then this one is fairly new for me. I got it uh, about a year ago. It's a, a Squire Telecaster. Plays, plays great, great in tune. It's great if I want a little bit of more of a country feel or a blues type feel. Great guitar. All right, this next one is another Ernie Ball. Petrucci model. Uh, I've done a lot of work to this one. It's not really a real one. It is a replica. So I've put in one of those Dragon Screamer pickups in the bridge. Sounds awesome. There's another dime bag pickup. And uh, of course I got the stickers there um, so I can learn all the notes, which is something I'm still not great at. But this guitar plays great. I've done a lot of work to it. Put a Put a new nut up there. So maybe I can help stay in tune a little bit better. Um, I love the Satriani straps. I've got those on all my guitars. So it's a great guitar. It's got a kill switch. It had a piezo switch in it. And I ripped that out. It wasn't really working for me. So now it's got a cool kill switch. So if, if one day Ernie Ball decided to ever do a custom guitar for me, it would be something kind of like this. <laughs> Which will never happen. And then I've got a Ibanez Acoustic, which I found on Facebook Marketplace. Kind of did a little bit of work. There are some scratches, so I've got a scratch card on it. 
and uh, it, nothing too fancy. And then I've got the Flying V, or actually it's an Epiphone Dragon uh, V, and I did some custom work, put the pickups I like in it, but it still doesn't sound the best. Um, it's hard to practice with it if you don't have a strap on it, of course. Just not a much of a Flying V fan, so I don't really play it that much. Okay, for strings, here's what I, I like to use. This great company out of Nashville, String Joy. I use a couple custom gauges. Uh, 9 to 48 is one I really like. Uh, feeling a little bit heavier. Um, I'll use these 52 to 9 custom gauges that I had them do for me. And that's the same gauges that uh, Dave Mustaine uses from Megadeth. So, uh, love these strings. Um, if I had to find something in a pinch, I, I like Diodarios, these ones. But for here. guitar picks, I use a couple different ones. The ones I really use the most are these Gravity Jazz 3 picks. Um, they're two millimeters. They just kind of glide off the strings. I really like them a lot. And then the, I've got the Big Stubby Jazz three ones as well and then this is a petrucci jazz three so it's, a, it's just a little bit longer so those are the picks i use it just depends on what i'm feeling all right so that's my rig rundown if you have any questions uh definitely hit me up thank you